My name is Dana Tibbet, and I've had alopecia all my life. Um, it's genetically induced, so I was born with it. I began wearing wigs, you know, when I was little, fun wigs, you know, costumey type wigs around the house. Um, and then when I got into high school, when I would go to football games, homecoming, um, school dances and stuff, I would wear a wig. The reaction of my classmates was really positive and, and welcoming. And it made me feel really good about myself and that, you know, I was just like them and they were okay with that. But what's more important is that I was okay with it. And I think that's what was really the difference. I feel like the biggest misconception is that there's something wrong with me, that I'm, I'm different in a way that, um, that maybe my neighbor isn't. Um, but in reality, we're really all the same. And whether I change my eye color or I change my nail polish color or my handbag or my shoe, I just think of hair as more of an accessory, um, more than, than a need. It's, it's a fashion accessory. And then I became a wig specialist. I just walked into a wig store one day needing new hair and they found out I was a hairdresser that wore wigs and they offered me a job. And I started doing that full time and that's really where I belong in this world. Giving other people that kind of confidence. You know, things are what you make of them and it's a choice to be happy or not. And um, I choose to be happy with wigs and I choose to be happy without wigs because no matter what, I am the same me. And if somebody else can't see that, then that's their problem, not mine. People ask me all the time, like, how do you deal with this? How, yeah, you seem so positive. And I think, what's my other option is to be sad and, you know, stay in a dark place because, you know, I'm not like you or, you know, make lemonade out of a bunch of lemons and add a little vodka. Mm -hmm.